Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my mid-year favorites. I did this last year. You guys loved it. I love doing it. One of my favorite videos of the year is watching people's yearly favorites, but why wait till the end of the year when we could get it mid-year and know what I've been loving throughout the first six months of the year. Without further ado, I have a good amount of product to share with you guys. I can't wait to go through everything. This is the best of the best so far this year for me. Either launched this year or I've discovered it this year, but this is everything that I've been loving up until this point. So if you want to see the best of the best, then just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to talk about, I've been meaning to mention in the past few favorites videos of mine, and I want to get it out of the way because I didn't want to forget it again. This is Burberry Her. And I was recommended from a subscriber to pick this up because I really love the smell of the Patrick Ta body oil in A Dream. And this is the closest smell I have come to this. I actually like Burberry Her better because I fell in love with the Patrick Ta. They smell very, very similar. Burberry Her is a little bit sweeter, but it is so good. This is the rollerball version because I just wanted to test it out first, but I'm 100% getting the full size and this is my favorite scent right now. I feel like a lot of people would love this scent. It smells sophisticated, but still very light and fruity and fresh, perfect for summer. If you like more of a sweeter vibe, I feel like this is not sickeningly sweet, but more mature version and just smells heavenly to me. So if you like the smell of this, I would recommend checking this out though it is slightly sweeter and it has a similar component to it to that. That's why I love this. It smells virtually the same on my body. Thank you so much to the subscriber who recommended this fragrance to me because I keep meaning to say that I love it so much. I know I mentioned it on IG stories, but I had to rave about it here. Just pick it up. <laughs> Moving forward, I don't necessarily have something per category. It might work out that way, but I didn't think of my products that way. I just wanted to truly think what stood out to me so far this year. And for me, for brows, this is my favorite thing that I've found to date. And it's the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I have it in Neutral Nana right now, which is too light for me. I'm gonna say that right now. They were out of the darker shade, which I just ordered. And I wanted to use it today for this video, but it didn't come in time. It's gonna be here on July 2nd. <laughs> which is unfortunately too late for me to talk about it. But this is the one I have now, and I have since ordered a darker shade, but you can create really nice hair-like strokes in the front of your brow, which I have a really hard time with. That is my issue of concern, and it has that little felt tip, makes it super easy to do, and then also has the pencil on it to fill in any other areas. So it is waterproof, perfect for summer. I used it in this summer makeup routine, which I used a lot of, these products. If you're curious to see a lot of these products I mentioned in action, watch this tutorial because I do use a lot of these products because they're a favorite for a reason. The next product that I've absolutely been loving that I also purchased a big guy of it, hasn't come here July 2nd. <laughs> I don't know why everything is taking its sweet time to get to me. But this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer Base. And I love this for a primer. It's hydrating, but also long wearing for your makeup. It really holds on to your foundation if you have a problem with it slipping and sliding. This is a great product to add to your routine. I find it really does help. Sometimes just moisturizing my face is all I need to do, but when I really wanna lock my foundation down, Milk Hydro Grip. So, so good. It's also nice that they have the mini so you can kind of test the waters first before you invest in the full size because that's what I did and I'm going ahead and buying the full size. And then for complexion, this was my favorite complexion find so far this year. I think this is my first holy grail product that I've ever found from Avon and it is their Magic's Tint. And this is a tinted moisturizer that is brightening and illuminating. I use this in my no makeup makeup look. It is flawless. It looks so beautiful. It gives you a good amount of coverage, but remains looking natural and fresh on its own. You can see me apply it in that video. It is stunning and it's very affordable. I have it in two colors. I do mix them. So my perfect shade would probably be in between these two, but most days I can get away with light because I do feel it a little bit darker. It's more like a light medium. And then I also have medium, which is too dark for me. So sometimes I can be medium when I'm tan, but this one I definitely have to mix. So if you are normally my skin type, I'd recommend light medium, or you could even go with light, which I can use on its own and just 
bronze on my skin for that. And then for foundation, I had to mention this because this is my favorite foundation of all time right now. And it is from L'Oreal. They just know how to make a foundation to me. I was on the Pro Glow train forever. I was also using Dior Face and Body this year, but when I really thought about what I love, it is this foundation. And this is top foundation right now for me. L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I use the shade 455. Using it right now on my skin, you can have it a lighter coverage, build it up, still looks natural, still looks fresh, lasts a long time. It is just my perfect foundation. I feel like it also minimizes my pores. It's very perfecting for me as well. It's the perfect amount of radiance to it without emphasizing any kind of pores or texture and it's just my perfect formula. It goes on beautifully. I feel like anyone could really wear this, any skin type, my go-to. Love this stuff. This is like almost done. <laughs> I have a backup though. And then for powder, I've fallen so hard for this. I honestly cannot see anything beating this routine for me right now. It's just working out so well for me. And this is from Maybelline, another drugstore brand. They're killing it for me right now. And this is their Super Stay Full Coverage 16 Hour Powder Foundation. I use this in combination with Fresh Wear when I want a truly flawless finish face. Long wearing, it is my perfect foundation combo. This powder is great on its own too. If you just add a little bit of moisturizer and put this on as a powder foundation, it provides a good amount of coverage. It's super smoothing and perfecting, mattifies the skin and it doesn't make it look cakey at all. You can bring this along for touch-ups because it has a little mirror with a little cosmetic sponge in there. It's just the perfect compact to me, perfect powder. If you have not checked this out, Highly, highly recommend that. Moving on to bronzer. Bronzer, you guys know, like foundation, complexion, it is just my favorite thing. So I have three to share with you guys. I couldn't narrow it down to one. These have just been my top bronzers. First from the drugstore is Maybelline and it is their City Bronzer. It's a bronzer and contour powder. I love the tone of this. I also have it in the darker shade and just recently got the lighter one in PR, but I did purchase these initially. And this is shade 200, which is my favorite one that they came out with. 300 is my second favorite. Formula is so nice. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not fully matte, but definitely on the matter side. The next bronzer I have is from Fenty Beauty. And the same thing as the Maybelline, it's super smooth, easy to build. It just blends so nicely on the skin. That's what I look for in a bronzer. It just has to be really blendable and not muddy. This one is the warmest bronzer that I have and it's in Caramel Cutie. It did look the most neutral from the Fenty ones, but they do pull quite warm. This is still really nice on my skin type, even though it, I think it's the third darkest in her line, but I still can make it work. I've used a ton of this. You can't even see the FB anymore in there or barely. I've gone super hard on that one. And that was just a top bronzer for me, formula, color, it's perfect. And then another favorite of mine, which I'm wearing right now is from Marc Jacobs and it's their new Coconut Perfect Tan Bronzer. And this is in Tantalize. So I'm all about Tantastic, which is more neutral and is also lighter. And this one is warmer and darker. Another go-to favorite of mine. So I'm so happy to have picked this up. As I said, I am wearing this one today and it's just been another go-to bronzer of mine. I love the formula of these Coconut Perfect Tan Bronzers from Marc Jacobs. I think it's perfect. <laughs> the name suggests perfect. It is perfection to me. The color is beautiful. It's warmer than Tantastic, but I can totally see myself using this just as much as that one because I just love the formula of them. So three bronzers, but can you expect less from me? I love bronzer, so I had to mention those three. And you can't have a good bronzer without a good bronzer brush. And I discovered this one this year. It is the Smith 154. It looks like this. This is all I've been using for bronzer. Before I was using my big old Tom Ford one, which isn't as precise. This one is tapered. So you can really get that bronze contour, contour look that I really like. Perfect brush for me, highly recommend it. I love my Smith brushes. I did a whole video on the new ones that they came out with and this was one of them, so. 
favorite of mine, my number one from the launch. I've just been reaching for this every day. And then for blush, I have three different kinds. They're totally different formulas, so that's why I felt like I had to include all these because they're all super special to me. So the first one that I feel like a lot of people would probably mention right now if they were doing a mid-year phase is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. These ones are long wearing, give a beautiful glowy sheen to the skin, super pigmented. These are so, so pigmented. I've mentioned them a billion times on my channel at this point and I absolutely love them. I really love the pink in Ibiza, but I've also been really into Seychelles. Any of these are really, really fantastic. I love the component to them, just really simple. And then I also fell in love with this formula from Lancome and this is the Le Monochromatique in French Affair. You could use these as blushes, eyeshadows. The formula is very multi-use. They have some you can even use for highlight. And this color right here is my perfect definition of a blush. You will see one quite similar to it. But I love the consistency of this because it feels like a cream, but it goes to a powder. It's very, very thin, super pigmented. The formula of this is unlike anything else that I have in my collection. So I really like these. If you wanna find colors for eyeshadow, as I said, highlight, you're gonna love the formula. And those I feel like aren't talked about ever. <laughs> I think I heard one person talk about that formula and I, I'm just a huge fan of it. They need to come out with more shades. And then I also have been into the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy Color in Poppy Girl. This is so, so pretty. Again, very similar to that other color. I'm just into that kind of family right there. And this I am wearing on my cheeks right now. You just need a small amount, dab it in, and it gives you the perfect flush the cheeks. This is kind of my natural flush if I were to have one. So that's why I really like these kind of colors because they look most natural on my skin tone. And also the formula of this specifically is super long wearing. For a cream, this just sticks onto my skin and I can go all day with this baby and it's gonna last, which I love. So this was another great find for me, but I definitely wanna try more Nude Sticks products. So if you have any favorite Nude Sticks things that you think I would like, please let me know in the comments below because I definitely need to purchase more from the brand. Then for highlight, I just have one to share. This is from the drugstore from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade I'm So Lit. It's one of their loose highlighters. You get so much product in here. And I discovered this because it was similar to the cookie shade that Benefit came out with, but in loose form. That's the only difference I find with them. Very similar in color, which I'm gonna show you that palette because I also <laughs> have been loving that Cheek Leaders palette from Benefit. But this is the color of the highlight. Very blinding, super stunning. Another absolute favorite. I only really wanted to mention that highlight because truly of everything I tried and there's things that I do like, that is number one for me. Just takes the cake. And then I have two palettes that I had to mention. I have the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette and then I also have this new Sephora Pro Face palette. So for Benefit, I mentioned that cookie shade in here, which you can see I've used a ton of, but I love that shade. It made me fall in love with this palette initially and then the new Hoola Caramel, which I also really enjoyed and would be probably my fourth bronzer next to those ones because I love my bronzer <laughs> and I've been using that one a ton. And then they just have regular Hoola Coralista and Gold Rush in here. It's a good bang for your buck and I, Highly recommend this in my favorites and in other videos I've talked about this. It's just really good value for your money if you're looking for an all-in-one kit. This one's more expensive, but it's newer to me. It's the Sephora Pro Face Palette. It's so beautiful. They have three shades in total. I got the medium one. They also have a light and a dark. Depending on what you are into, this one is the medium one. I love the tonal range in here. They have blushes, bronzers, highlights, a little bit of everything just to complete your face look. So, so pretty. The formulas are fantastic, long wearing. It's huge, expensive, but it's really good quality. So another one that I had to mention for mid-year favorites is that one. And then I have two facial mists that I had to mention. One high-end, one drugstore. The first is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. You shake this up and it has that 24 karat gold inside. This gives you a super dewy look. And this one also gives you a dewy look, probably a little less dewy than the Farsali, but this one I find is more long wearing. So I kind of reach for this one more, which is good, but also not good because this one's limited edition, I believe, but it's drugstore. So if you're looking for a hydrating, glowy, long wearing, 
setting spray. The one from L'Oreal, the Dew Mist, is my go-to, but I also have been really loving the Farsali, which is permanent, but also much more expensive. Now I have a few random things I wanted to mention. The first being the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self-Tanning Dry Oil. And I've been self-tanning for years. It's, I can't even tell you how many years, it's a long time. Anyways, I've used lotions, mousses, sprays, you name it. This is the first dry oil that I've used. And this is probably why I love it so much because I think all tanner needs to be in a dry oil because it's super hydrating. It doesn't leave you with that scaly tan when it fades. It fades beautifully because it's super moisturizing, but since it's a dry oil, it's not an oil that just sits on your skin and you're like, oh, I'm too moisturized. And you know, when you sit in your tan and you get that feeling of being hot and in tan, it's just awful feeling. Dry oil, it's a dry oil. So it doesn't leave you feeling like that, which is perfect plus hydrating. And I initially heard this from SMLXO here on YouTube. And she was doing a sponsored video with Bondi Sands and she sold me on this and it truly is really, really good. So this has been a favorite find of mine from this past year and definitely gonna be my go-to tanner. I feel like other ones get me a little bit darker than this, but for how it wears on me, how it feels on my skin, I don't think anything beats it. It's really, really good. And then also for nails, I mention these all the time. They're from Kiss. I'm always wearing their nails, but I had to because even when I'm out in public, I get questions about the nails all the time. And my favorite are the ones that come with the glue. So the Gel Fantasy or any of these ones, they have the Impress sets, which just have these sticky tabs on them, which I don't care for. I will use glue on these ones. I won't just use the sticky thing. So that's how I get this kind of nail look on my nails that last longer. I do use the glue. I don't use the stickies, but the brand Kiss makes the best nails for someone like me who has very not nice nails. <laughs> so those have saved me on numerous occasions. I'm constantly wearing them. They last me about a week and they don't ruin my nails underneath. So works out perfectly for me. The last thing I'm going to be mentioning today is my Revlon blow dryer. It's the blow dry brush. So you can blow out your hair using this because it's a brush and a blow dry iron one. It's perfect. I showed you guys this in action in a get ready with me video, but this is the only thing I use on my hair now when I want to dry my hair. Even when, say I wash my hair at night, still wet in the morning, I can go through my hair with this and give it that blown out look without using too much time on my hair for a blow dryer. This has personally saved me so much time and I love my hair the most with a nice blowout. So I can't say enough good things about that. I'm so happy I purchased that for my birthday for myself. And then I almost forgot about lips, which when I was going through products, I honestly did forget about lips. It was the last thing I thought about because this was the only thing that really has truly stood out to me this year. I must be forgetting something, I'm sure, but so far this year, this has been the best formula for me. These are from Bare Minerals. It's their Bare Pro Pro Longwear Matte lipsticks. Favorite shade is Peony, which I will swatch for you. But this formula is so, so good. It is smoothing to the lips. It is matte, but it's not drying. It is the best matte lipstick formula that I've tried, in my opinion. So that was a standout lip product for me. I had to mention those because they've truly been the best for my lips. And that's everything. <laughs> I just wanted to go over the best of the best for me. I could spend forever talking about things that I love, but not love love, you know? This is the best of the best for me so far this year. So I hope you guys found some new products that you wanna check out. Let me know what you have been loving so far this year. I would love to know as always. This is truly my favorite things and I'm curious to see what's going to be added, what's going to change. Maybe something will kick one of these products out in the next six months. That's why I loved doing it last year because it was so interesting to me to see what was added, what I didn't include. So this is so far this year what I have been truly loving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell, like, leave a comment, all those kind of things. I would forever be grateful and I will see you guys in my next video.